Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and come down here to video editing and go ahead and open up a video editing workspace. Next, you can either navigate to wherever your footage is on your computer or you can hit shift A and come down here to movie and go ahead and open that up. Now I've gone ahead right here and opened up a sequence and you can see that I've got this going on here. You can see I've got a green background. I would encourage you if you wanted to to go ahead and edit your video before you do any green screen removal because you may not know how much footage you actually need to remove the green screen on. So it's better to go ahead and edit and that way you know what shots you have and then you can remove the green screen from there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, set my endpoint here and I'm going to go forward with say 100 frames and set my out point. So I'm just doing 100 frames because this is nice and simple. Next I'm going to go ahead and set an output folder. So I've got my output folder and then I'll just go ahead and click accept. Finally you can go ahead and choose your file format. I would suggest PNGs or TIFFs. PNGs are a lot lighter on your system, so I'm just going to use that and then hit Control F12 to render. So now that I have my footage rendered out, I'm just going to open up a new VFX workspace. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to change my frame rate to 23.98 because that was my initial image or uh, my initial video had that frame rate and then I'll come over here to the compositing workflow. I'm going to change this down here to my compositor and this up here to my image editor. And then if Node Wrangler isn't turned on, go ahead and come up here to edit and preferences and then add-ons and just type in Node Wrangler and you can see it right here. I have it turned on in my system. And what that does is it gives you this option, this viewer node. So I'm going to go ahead and select the viewer node. I can go ahead and bring in my footage. So I'll hit shift A and come down here to input and then image. And then I'll go ahead and open up my image sequence that I just exported and click open image and change the image from single image to image sequence. And then the only other thing that I need to do is change the frames from 1 to 100 because I know that's the amount of frames that I had gone ahead and rendered out. So to see my image now I just control shift left click and you can see that since I have my viewer node selected in my image editor a viewer node gets created down here and we can go ahead and just delete this render layers and then I'm gonna set things up kind of the way that I like them so I'm gonna hit shift A and search and call this reroute and grab a little reroute node and I'll stick one into the viewer and one into the composite and then one final one into the image here and what that does is regardless of what happens at whatever my viewer node is is viewing everything will always go through to the composite node which it will export my footage Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to uh, search, shift A and search, and then let's type in key. And let's go ahead and grab a keying node, and let's just, just stick it right there in the middle. And you can see immediately, all of a sudden, my shirt just uh, and table, all of that just goes transparent. To see what's really going on here, let's go ahead and change the viewer from the color and alpha to the alpha, and then uh, actually, let's go just to color here and control shift click on our image and then select the keying color and the little eyedropper tool here. And let's go ahead and select a green. Now, I don't want to select just any green anywhere. I know that m this is me a little while ago. I know that around me is where I want the cleanest plate, uh, the cleanest background removal. So I'm going to go ahead and select kind of right here next to my arm and then I'll go ahead and control shift click and we can change back to color and alpha. I changed to color and I, I started viewing just this image so that when I clicked nothing would change. Now we can see 
that there's a little bit of stuff going on here. There's some, some green that's still left. And if we select our alpha here, we can actually see what uh, the issue is. And, and the problem here is that the green has kind of, it changes color. This green here and this green here is a little bit different. So what I could do is mess with the, the clip black and the clip white. If I increase the clip black, you can see that it starts deleting. If I increase the clip or decrease the clip white, decrease that a lot, you can see that it brings some of that green back in. But before I do any of that, I'm going to come here to the key color. And I'm actually going to play with the hue, saturation, and value. And I can go ahead and just bring the saturation back. And a lot of times this can fix most of your issues. And then you can also mess with the hue just a little bit. Okay. So now there's just a little bit in that corner. But if I go back to my color and alpha, Things are looking pretty, pretty good. Let's go ahead and bring in a background picture. So hit Shift A and input and come down to image again and open up your picture. Okay, so I have my picture here. And now I'm going to hit Shift A one more time and search for an alpha, oops, alpha over node. Now the way that this node works, the top image here is actually the back image. And then the bottom one here is the front. So I'm going to put my background here at the top. And then the keying node, I'm going to stick that into the image at the bottom there. And then control shift click on the alpha node to see what we've got. Now, first of all, you can see that this image is way larger. So I'm going to hit shift A and search for a scale node and put that in between my background image and my alpha over and then change the scale type to render size. Second of all, you can see that what we thought was a pretty good key isn't so great. So if I come here to the alpha and look at it, it looks like it's good, but it's not super great. And one way to fix that is to click this convert pre-molt and that will go ahead and pre-multiply our image. Now we have a little bit of a problem right here and I'll show you how to fix that. Last but not least, let's go ahead and create some masks. Let's say that your let's say that your green screen wasn't super great. Let's go ahead and change over here to the mask view and then I'm going to hit control space bar in order to maximize right here. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to control click and I'm just going to add in a little mask right here and then hit alt C to close that mask and if I hit N on my keyboard that brings up the attributes panel and here in the mask layers you can see we have a mask up here this one I'm going to call this helmet safe and then I'm going to make one new mask and this one I'm going to call this one garbage mat this one, I'm going to go ahead and just control click like we did before. And I'm just going to go ahead and cover all around where I am at in the shot. And of course, Alt C. So we have these two masks. So let's go back to previous or control space bar. And let's add in shift A, search and add in a mask node. And then shift D to duplicate that. Now I realized I called the wrong thing uh, that this mask here, I named it helmet safe. I should probably name it helmet safe here. And this mat mask here, we call it garbage mat. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the garbage mat here. Go back to my view. And then stick the helmet safe mask here. And you'll see that right there, if I disconnect it and then reconnect it, so basically what's going on is whatever the, is inside of the garbage mat Blender will just 
put that as a zero and that's why I can go ahead and just clean up like the edges here if I take this off you can see up here in the corner uh, I can even just go ahead and look here you can see this up here and then if I put the mask in it's gone so blender doesn't even try and calculate that in uh, trying to remove the green screen and then the helmet safe or the core mat is anything that I also don't want blender to calculate but I want to keep so garbage mat is to get rid of core mat is to keep now every once in a while if you have a really complex background you can actually take some uh, RGB nodes and you can average them together with math nodes and then stick that into the key color here but that's a, a really complicated and not that much fun to do okay there we go now you can go ahead and export this so I hope that this has been helpful thank you guys so much for watching please like comment and subscribe and I will see you next time